become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. So as we all know that whenever we are designing any tall vessel, column, pressure vessel, uh, in that case, uh, all the nozzles will be connected with some piping. So particularly with the columns, it happens that uh, the nozzle which will be at the top, which will be connected to some piping, that piping will many a times run along with the surface of that particular column to the entire length or 70 or 80 percent of the length. So as we are not going to model that in PV lead, so what is the effect of its wind area in the overall support calculation of that particular column? What about its weight in the seismic load design calculation? So uh, many a times customer want that you should model the pipe runs in software so that its area in wind load calculation, its weight in seismic loading calculation and also the weight in the foundation load calculation should also be taken care. So many a times if it is a hot line, it must be having insulation. So the insulation thickness, its density, its weight should also be there. If it is carrying some liquid, that liquid obviously having certain specific gravity or density because of its the weight of that particular pipe, if it is filled with that particular fluid will be different. So all those effects the customer want to be taken care in the design calculation. So how to take care of that? So does PV lead have any option with the help of which we can be able to model such nozzle pipe runs along with the vessel? So is there any option by which you can do it? Is there any piping attachment option which we can use to model such kind of pipe runs? There is one dialog box which has been given in PV lead that is called as a weight dialog box. So here if you click on this, so weight oblique piping dialog box. So many people are using this dialog box, but only for the addition of the weights, but not for the addition of the piping components. So with the help of the same dialog box, we can be able to model the piping inputs as well. So let us say I have chosen the top dish end. So I am going to have a pipe model along with the top nozzle. So what is the size of this nozzle? Let us first understand. So I'm double clicking on this. So what is the size of this nozzle? It is 350 NB or we can say DN 350. So for this, how to do that? So it is 14 inch nozzle, right? So for this 14 inch nozzle, if you would like to model a pipe run along with the vessel so that its weight and its area should be considered in the wind and seismic load calculation. So for that, we have to first choose the parent component on which rather the nozzle has been modeled. So let's say I have clicked upon the parent component dished end and now I am going to click upon the weight option. So here I am giving the name. Let's say pipe dash one. This is the first pipe run what I am going to model along with the nozzle which will be at the top. Okay. So I have given the name as pipe one. So now let us say the layout angle. So it will be running at an angle of let's say 90 degree. Then offset element center line. So whatever the offset distance would be there with reference to the center line that what we have to consider. So let's say that offset distance is 1500 millimeter 1500 miscellaneous mass. If you know you can put it directly. If not then the software will help you to find out the same. So I'm not going to calculate it right now. So here there is an option piping detail. So we have to click upon this option piping detail. So after that, you can see that here multiple options or tabs have been opened on which in which rather we can fill in the data. So what is the first data pipe outside diameter? So I have to go into the pipe lookup so that I can directly choose it from Let's say I'm having standard pipe of the size 350 NB. 
deduct mill tolerance from the thickness we should try and understand the piping whatever we are going to model its weight should be more if it is considered without mill tolerance and that would be the worst case so while modeling the pipe run we should not deduct the mill tolerance because it is going to reduce its thickness and its weight and that will not be the conservative design as far as this weight is concerned so always do remember you don't have to click upon this otherwise it will consider the under tolerated thickness which will be lesser and hence the weight will also be on the lower side so for conservative purpose i am not going to choose upon deduct the mill tolerance from the thickness so i am clicking over here as select so you can see over here what is the pipe thickness 9.525 if you would like to have standard instead of that 40 schedule so you can choose it as per your piping requirement right so it is 11.1252 let us assume schedule 40 is there now the fluid specific gravity so let us say 0.8 is the specific gravity of the fluid insulation thickness let us assume 50 millimeter is the insulation thickness insulation density insulation density is let's say 160 kg per meter cube what is the unit over here it is not kg per meter cube it is kg per centimeter cube so it would be 0 0.0001 six zero so it is 160 kg per meter cube which is 0 0.00016 kg per centimeter cube now there is an important option over here compute the weight and the area so when i click upon this so the software will automatically calculate miscellaneous mass of whatever we have modeled and it also calculate the area which will be entitled along with this or it is associated with this in area calculation it will consider the outside diameter of the insulation and the height of that particular pipe and it will multiply that height with the diameter so if i click over here it will give me the weight as well as the area so if i click on ok so prior to that you can see over here whatever you have modeled whether you would like to consider in empty case operating case or hydro test case so let's say I don't want it to be considered in hydro test case because hydro will be going to happen in the shop or even at the site. I don't assume that the piping should be there during the hydro. If you think so, hydro test uh, can be associated with that piping attachment as well. So you can click on this checkbox also so that accordingly the weights in the hydro test calculations will be changing. So I'm let's say assume empty and operating case. I'm clicking upon OK. So that you can see over here, one piping has been modeled, right? So whether the piping has been modeled till the very end, no. So this has been modeled only till this point, the element what we have chosen. In this case, it is an distance. So now I have to model the piping in particular to this shell. To this shell, it should be run in parallel. So first I have to choose this shell. Then I have to again go into the weight. Here already whatever weights I have modeled, those will be shown. But here I have to click upon go next weight, go next weight, go next weight. If there are some already other weights which you have already modeled. So let's say there are how much? 6 out of 7. So there are total 7 weights. And now there is an option called as a add new weight. So I have to add new weight so i have to now click upon this so now this will change to 8 of 8 and now i can give the name as pipe 2 right earlier we have given the name pipe 1 so pipe 2 layout angle would be the same offset distance let's say same 1500 miscellaneous mass i don't want automate i i don't want to put it rather i want this to be considered automatically pipe run i have to click over here then i have to choose schedule 40 then the size would be 350 mill under tolerance i don't want to click upon specific gravity is 0.8 insulation thickness 50 millimeters and the insulation density is 160 kg per meter cube so it is triple zero one six zero compute wind and weight compute the area and the weight and then i have to click on ok so that now you can see the pipe run has been modeled till this. Now the next component what I have to choose. Again the procedure will remain the same. You can see there is only one weight. So right now I can give the 
name as 5-3. Again, the same thing, empty and operating. Layout angle would be 90. Then you can see offset dimension 1500. Mass, I don't want to calculate. I want the software to calculate that. Then schedule would be 40. This would be 350. I don't want the mill tolerance to be considered because I want to be on the conservative side so that maximum thickness and hence the weight should be considered. The density would be 160 kg per meter cube. Correct? So now you can see that the pipe run, whatever we have modeled, has reached till this. So now I would like to have a pipe run that needs to be there on the distance, right? So for that purpose, what I need to do is I have to zoom in over here. I have to choose this dist end. Then I have to go to weights. Then I have to give the name pipe dash four. Again, empty and operating weight. Layout angle would be 90. This would be 1500. Then I would like to choose it from the database schedule 40, 350 NB. You have to just repeat the same procedure. Fluid specific gravity, if it is different, then you can put it different. If it is the same, you should use the same value. Correct? And then compute. So that you can see a small line over here. It only this portion has been separately modeled. Only this to this. Only the SF portion will be taken into consideration. Now I have chosen the skirt. Again, I am going to add the pipe as pipe 5, empty and operating. Similar procedure we have to follow. 1500 would be the distance. 40. I don't want this to be considered 350 select specific gravity would be 0.8 insulation thickness would be 50 insulation density would be triple zero one six zero and I'm just clicking over here. So like this, we can be able to model a pipe run by using the weight and piping option. And then if you are going to run it, then obviously uh, the calculation will show the additional weight and the area associated with this pipe run as well. That has been added as a weight, pipe 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So if I'm going to perform the analysis, then we'll come to know that the if you compare it with the previous and this one, you will always see that the loads in this case would be much more as compared to that of the previous. So if your customer want that pipe run should be modeled. Where it will be mentioned, it will be always mentioned in your specification. If at all, it needs to be modeled. If not, if you are working on international projects, so it is a standard practice that this pipe run should be modeled always so that there won't be any load changes that would be expected at the later stage. So here, if I go into the wind load calculations, so you can see that. So these are the pipe runs what we have modeled, right? And its area and the force also have been considered and the same will be used in determination of the moments as well. So what is the effect of that piping, whatever we have modeled? Its effect in the calculation has been taken care and this is what your customer also wants. Because of this, whatever the extra loads are coming, those needs to be considered in the foundation load calculation. So that uh, we have already considered. So this is the way uh, you can be able to model the pipe run. So let's say if you are having some conical portion in between, you can just follow the same procedure. The pipe run will automatically follow the surface of the cone. So with the help of this, not only for one nozzle, if you would like to do it for here also, you can do it separately. And here from the pipe run will be modeled. So it is up to you for how many nozzles you would like to model, but the most common practice in the industry is that for the top nozzles, it will always needs to be considered. So I hope this is very wonderful video. You must have enjoyed the same as well.